Hello, my name is Kelly Swan and tonight I'm here to tell you a little bit more about my graphic design work and my pencil drawings. I am a graduate of the University of Akron and I'm happy to have you here listening this evening. You might notice from the picture that I've always had curly red hair. I've always loved to read and boy I sure hate getting caught with my pants down. <laughs> I'm that same way today so this picture sort of sums up where I was headed. I've always, always loved horses. Um, this goes back to day one. I love horses to this day, and I had and rode horses for many years. Uh, shown here are a couple of my favorite horses over the years. Then I moved into dogs. They're a lot cheaper and they're a lot safer. <laughs> I particularly love Dobermans. On the left was my all-time favorite dog, Capone. And on the right is my new critter, who I got as a puppy, McKenna. She's now full grown. And I once lived in Arizona, particularly um, Sedona, Arizona. Sedona is a gorgeous place. And for those of you that don't know much about Arizona, northern Arizona does experience four seasons, as witnessed by the snow on the right. This is a little bit of my pencil drawing artwork. Uh, I did quite a few horse drawings, surprise, surprise. Um, these are two of my top drawings. Um, a very detailed picture on the left and a more interpretive picture on the right. And of course dog drawings, I'm sure you knew that was coming. Uh, my favorite subjects are Dobermans and Greyhounds. They make tremendous pencil drawings. I have a huge portfolio of dog drawings um, which can be found on my website. And other than that I've delved into a number of areas including historic artwork and technical artwork. Um, here you see a farrier and blacksmith piece, a vintage Corvette, and a vintage biplane piece. I traveled all over with my artwork to many shows in the States and even went as far as Dubai. Uh, that was a phenomenal trip. Way too much to talk about there for one slide, but it was the experience of a lifetime. Uh, this is my artist statement. I'm not going to race through it and read it here, uh, but suffice to say I am fascinated by the simplicity of a pencil. It is one of the most basic of tools and yet can be used to create images of great complexity and depth. And my early graphic design career uh, started in both print work and multimedia presentation work before we had Adobe Creative Suite. <laughs> and this picture I pulled from the internet, I just thought it was funny because it's a little bit like life was back then. Uh, I got into a lot of custom logo designs and surprise, surprise again, most of them were about horses. Um, I have quite a name on the web for being an equine logo designer. I have also gotten into website design. That started out of necessity because I wanted to market my own fine artwork on the web. So my own website is pencilplace.com and that's shown here. And then I started getting calls to do other people's websites. So I've done about 20 small business websites. Shown here is a petware website and a small restaurant website, uh, Meldrum's Restaurant out of Maslin, Ohio. I've also done my share of print design. It seems it never goes away. Uh, these are just a couple samples from what seems like thousands of pieces I've done over the years. And I've also gotten into some book publishing, uh, mostly to learn about the print on demand industry. This was my first book, She Drew Horses. It's a book of my drawings and some of my dreams and inspirations. It's available through Amazon and Lulu. Then I did a second book to experience the e-publishing experience. And this book uh, is about marketing tips for the visual artists and it is available through most of the online outlets. My personal interests involve mostly uh, outdoor exercise and that includes hiking and swimming. I love the Cuyahoga Valley Park System and the Cleveland Metro Park System, and I just adore swimming. Uh, it's great for the health and it's great for the mind. I adore swimming so much that last year I got my lifeguarding certificate and my water safety instructor certificate, um, which was interesting because the other people in the class were all about 16 years old. <laughs> so this was a lot of fun for me. 
And now I've moved from working many years as a freelancer to an employed person again, and I'm very happy with my new position. I now work as a content specialist for Swage Lock, and I'm having the time of my life, though I'm probably the busiest I've ever been in my life. <laughs>